Hello, this is Pandemic Gaming, and today I'm going to talk to you about COVID-19, things to keep you safe, a little bit about me, and how I look at things. So, don't forget to watch the whole video and get all the information. Now, you're probably thinking, oh gee, another guy making a YouTube video. Well, the reason I'm going to try and make this a career because, well, I'm trying to stay alive, period. I know you're thinking, oh, maybe he wants to be famous. Didn't know there was such thing as YouTube famous. Sorry. Didn't know. Ah, guy wants to be rich. I was rich once when I was a boy. Everybody I knew was alive. Now, you don't get much richer than that. And if, if they wouldn't have crossed the river and they were still alive today, I, I wouldn't go see them. I'd call them and be like, hey, how you doing? I love you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just too dangerous. You know, people will are sick and they don't even know it you know like hey I'm gonna go visit my family no don't do that call them Skype you got all this technology now than when I was a kid didn't even have cell phones wealthy well yeah I, I like to make a little bit of money you know uh, if I can make a little bit of money and stay home and stay safe and stay alive yeah that's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, let, let's talk about stores. Now, how I feel when I go to a store. When, when I go to a store, I feel everybody's a lethal weapon. Not that they intend to be. They intend to harm me. But I don't know if they got COVID. I don't want to take that chance. If there's a freezer here... A nice glass door, and right next door is another glass door, and there's something I really want, and I see a guy in this door. Mm-mm. I ain't going to go grab that item. I am staying away from you. You can move, move down the way. You know, it's to me, it's too dangerous. I, I've had uh, people, uh, when, when you're in the meat section... Next thing you know, you see this hand come in. It's like, whoa, what's going on here, pal? That's not six feet. Don't do that. Six feet. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. These are things that you wash your hands, you need to do them all the time. You know, ain't no need to go visit friends. They could be sick. Now, they're sick. Or you're sick, either which way, now you get them sick. Now they're going back to their families. Now, they could get mild symptoms, or you could, you know, they could end up dying. That, that's what I'm worried about. I remember uh, one day, uh, it's like I really wanted to, those big things of lemonade from Sam's Club. Nat and I'm with the old lady. We just got done shopping at one place. And it's like, man, it looks like there's a lot of cars over there. I go, yeah, well, you know, she's like, well, we'll drive over and just see. And man, that parking lot was full. I'm like, mm-mm. I ain't dying for no Kool-Aid. Not this guy. Mm-mm. And I also heard, you know, on the news about people uh, lining up for a PS4. Xbox. Oh, they're new. Gotta have them. Now, this guy, I ain't gonna die for no PS4 or Xbox. You know, you just gotta think it's, it's dangerous times. This ain't normal times. And I, I hear a lot of talk about, hey, oh, we love first responders. And my heart and prayers go out to first responders. You guys got a really tough and dangerous job. You know, I saw this one video where this first responder, he was like, you know, 
if you don't social distance, do things you're supposed to, and you have a light, it's like, this is the last thing you're going to see. Now, I'm older, you know, I ain't going to say, hey, that's not going to be me. But I, I'm not going to go and try and put myself in harm's way, and I don't think any of you should neither. We should be be doing things the right way, being as safe as we possibly can. And if if you care about the first responders, if if you really really care and you really appreciate them, you should be following the guidelines. Because once the hospitals are full, they're full. They're, there's only so many resources for anybody so if you're not doing that next thing you know your, your kid or your grandmother needs to get in there or something well now they're full what are they going to do there ain't nothing they can do you know I, I don't want to be in a freezer truck and I don't think you do neither now let's talk about holidays I know Thanksgiving just passed, Christmas is coming up, there's New Year's, and you know, talking about traditions. Let's talk about traditions. Yeah, traditions are nice. I love traditions too. But you know what stops traditions, especially in times like this? Death. You die. Your loved ones die. You ain't having them traditions no more. And you can't take it back. This this isn't a video game. You know, this ain't like the 80s. You get three lives. Or now, you know, oh, I, I respawn. No. You only get one life. So let's do the right thing. You know, in this country, you know, if you're around the world, listen to this. I'm in America. You know, not one person can stop this alone. Not 10,000, not 100,000, not a million. We all need to follow the guidelines and do things right. And that's going to ease the burden on first responders. That's going to keep more of us alive. And more importantly, importantly, it's going to keep you alive. All right, now let's talk about asymptomatic. In case you don't know, asymptomatic is uh, where you look fine. You feel fine. You feel great. You don't show no symptoms. You're like, I ain't sick, but you're sick. You, you, you become a lethal weapon to everybody else. And, and you don't know. So one thing I can say is get tested, get tested, get tested. I remember about a month and a half ago, I got sick. Thank God I didn't have COVID and that. And I got the test, and my old lady wanted me to come back here to the house. And I'm arguing with her. You know, I grew up in the mountains. No running water, no electric outhouse. I was going to go up mountains because I, I didn't want that responsibility if I had COVID giving it to my family, hurting or potentially k killing them. So, yeah, we, we had an argument. It happens. But my heart was in the right place. And so it wasn't hers. She's like, you know, I can't have you up there. Just You know, if, if you are sick, you know, by yourself, you know. I'm not trying to sound like no superhero, but I'd rather die alone than take anybody with me, you know, being sick. That's just me. Now, I know they're talking about this vaccine. Vaccine ain't here. Not everybody's a vac uh, vaccinated. It's going to take a while to do this. 
And don't think just because, you know, I don't care who, who you voted for, you know. Myself, I don't really care for politicians. I don't. I do like Biden, though. But hold up a second. I don't. But, you know, what I'm saying is, don't think that the first day he takes office that this is just going to go away. Oh, boom. Oh, Biden's president. Woo. No. He's even telling you, he, he got a lot of challenges. His plate is full. And he's going to, he's trying to get everything set up and do the best. It doesn't mean the first day, oh, yeah. Or, oh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Now I can go hang out with Joe Smo and other guy here. And No. No, it's, it's going to be dangerous for a, a long time. The way I look at it, a long time. You know, don't go visiting people. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Social distance. Six feet's good. Twenty feet's better. It's the way it is. Work. I'm making. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna be up probably most of the night thinking about having to go to work. I ain't gonna lie. Any other time, I, I'll go to work. I don't care. Sucky job. You give me a worse job. Whatever. I'll go to work. Now I'm worried about COVID. To me, I don't know about you. I, I feel in danger anywhere I go. Even to work. But family got to eat, right? Wall Street got to look good. Let's see here. And I will say for a time like this, like I like I said, did I tell you I despise politicians? Man, but I, damn it, I I like you, Cuomo. That guy, you know, he listen to things. He's like, this ain't time for politics. I don't care about politics. He says public health. What he, I decipher a little bit, people's lives. That's what he cares about. He don't care about politics. This ain't about politics. This is about living or dying. And, and we all need to do this together, you know. Social distance. Wash our hands. Hey, I, I say it and say it over again. You know, it scares the hell out of me. I ain't going to lie. I know it doesn't sound very manly. This has killed better men and women than me across the world. That's a fact. You know, I hear a lot of things and it's like, if there's any time in life to love your neighbor as you love yourself, right now, right now, this is the time. Well, I hope you're out there doing the right thing, social distancing, staying safe, staying home. Washing your hands. Be safe. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. And keep me alive. Literally. Thank you and have a good day.